Well, the larger the nasal pop, the more the nose is gonna be blocked. Sometimes it may be larger on one side versus the other. The patient comes in and says, I'm blocked on the left side. You look in and you see pops on both sides. Conceptually, I'd rather see them on both sides because that tends to be a benign polyp. One-sided polyps may have other um, etiologies or causes. Most nasal polyps that are benign are bilateral. They're on both sides of the nose. But there are times where there may be a one-sided or unilateral nasal polyp, and they can uh, mimic certain other types of tumors or cancers. So if you have a one-sided nasal polyp, usually it needs to be biopsied by the ENT doctor. And um, they can be uh, Schneiderian polyps or inverted papillomas, which are pre-malignant. And they can uh, rarely be nasal lymphomas, uh, esthesial neuroblastomas that grow out of the base of the skull into the nose. They can be, if they're children, rhabdomyosarcomas. So there are other types of, of cancers, but they're pretty rare. So nasal polyps are diagnosed obviously by examination. Um, they differ from the other structures of the nose because they have a different type of mucosa. If you take a look in the nose, most of the nose has uh, respiratory mucosa, which is a kind of a light pink mucosa, a little shiny. Benign polyps tend to be clear white balloons, so they're quite distinctive. And uh, you'll see them growing usually from certain areas of the nose, usually the middle meatus, they grow from the sinuses, so they're farther back in the nose. They don't grow from the front of the nose. But it all starts with a good exam by a physician, particularly an ear, nose, and throat doctor, to look in the nose.